shit, now this shit on the floor, but bring my... Hey, ref, you gotta call that, man. That's a double right there. Tech, 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 you're out the game. You gotta go. It's spring right now, so there's been a lot of tournaments going on as far as sports, man. And so today, man, there's a big basketball tournament. So we're gonna go to Duncanville and we're gonna become refs. First thing first, we gotta get the drip. We need two jerseys, so we gotta have my boy blend in too, you know what I'm saying? So we'll go mediums. I already got pants and shit like that, so I really just need this. Oh, right here. What's up? My AAU basketball ref. Just start? Yeah, it just started. I did hear a rumor that teams actually do bid and they like pay the refs. I don't know about oh, you don't know about that? Do you have a phone number with us? Wait, you're trying to get my number? Yeah, I'm trying to get your number, boy. I'm not available right now. I'm low-key trying to weigh my options. See, you were talking about all the big <laughs> money that you were making. Oh, you're like more like the gold digger type? I mean, you were the one talking about all the money. Uh, man, I'm broke. All right, guys, we got the gear. It's going to be a little road trip because we're going to Duncanville, Texas. From where I am in Garland to Duncanville, I would say it's at least 45 to an hour, man. So, uh, yeah, man, we'll see y'all at the courts whenever we get there. I be with some steppers. I don't care about what you call do. What you like to work? Yeah. All right. In today's video, we'll be going to an AAU games and we'll be going as a fake referee, man. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, man. Like, come subscribe, and let's get to the video. Let's go. When's the uh, the last course of the game? How are you all doing? We're refs. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's our first Where? day. Oh, I yeah. love it. It's yeah. three over there, too. It's three over here. Three, three over there. Always you know, with oh. When you're not calling, okay. people will snatch it up. Oh, okay. Hey, coach. Uh, I just wanted to see if you wanted to set in your bid. What's that? If you want us to help you win the game, you can put 500 on the game. Hey, coach, uh, how much you want to put in on the game, coach? I'm not putting nothing on the game. I just want to win. Man. We're going to help you win if you put your bid right now. I'm up right now. You guys got any bets on the game? You don't want to put a bet? Hey, ref, you got to call that, man. That's a double right there. That's a double. We're actually doing bids on the game, so if you want to put up 500, so we make sure that you can win this game tonight, or even 200. All good. Yeah. I know you want to get your team to the next level and win this tournament, so just a chance now if you want to. Yeah, but just keep it on the D-low, you know. Let me know because yeah. if you're down in like the second half by like 20, I can, you know, okay. make some texts and things like that. Come on, TCU, Texas game. Hey, which game should I rest? Ours. Y'all about to play in a little bit? That's seven. I'm gonna go chill over there, so then I don't get it too hot, and then around seven, we'll come back. I bet. Did Grady assign you? Yeah. It might be on the other side, though. What's your name? Dingus. Dingus? Yeah. Let me find out. Hey, you know a, a young man named Dingus? <laughs> Dingus. I don't think that's where you is. Do you know what court you're supposed to be on? Not exactly. What's your last name? Blue Balls. Dingus Blue Balls? Yeah. Yes, sir. You're all in the wrong spot. Oh, wrong spot. Okay. I'll go back to the car. I'll get in contact with my supervisor. Do you know who your supervisor is? Yeah, Mr. Brady. Br Brady? Yeah. That's him. Was Brady on the phone. Yeah, he that's know, He don't know you. He don't know me. He might have woke up on the wrong side of the bed. I think, I think he knows me. No, I just... Nah, man. You're messing with me right now. That's what I was just talking to. Nah, you was talking to the wrong guy. Oh, I'm that's talking that. to Grady. We're trying to help you out. Man. I'm trying to get paid. You know what I'm saying? It's Friday. No, no, no. You're trying to be an official. I got, I got child support and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That's personal. Man. My pull-out game is kind of trash. Yeah, that's personal. All these guys you see out here? Yeah, yeah. These are veterans. Oh, vets. Yeah, they've been here longer than me. I'm more of like a Navy SEAL type. Navy SEALs in the Army? You know, like they got veterans, Navy SEAL, and then they got like Marines. I'm more of like Marine. A... They watched a bunch of rep highlights last night just to make sure I knew what I was that, doing. No, no. On YouTube. That's not how we do it. We need to go to the head coaches to see who's going to put up more on the bid to win the game because if this coach, I've already talked to him, he said by halftime if he's down, he'll put up 500. Okay. And if his team's down, we'll make sure we'll call some texts and make sure that he uh, wins the game. You know, it don't work that way. They change the rules and the regulations. Man! Did he kind of whistle it? Bro, what kind of whistle you got, man? You got that from fucking Ross, man. <laughs> yeah, you're bullshitting, man. You got that from fucking Ross. Remember what I said to you. If you're down by half, I got you. Just put up 500, I got you. Both y'all gotta go. I got a seven o'clock game. Okay, so what am I supposed to tell my manager? I don't know what you need to yeah. say. It's my first out. day. Let's go. I'm Let's supposed go. to be refing the game at seven o'clock. Yes, so ma'am. Why would you be you on go. another court? Because I was. I, I wasn't. The game didn't even start. How, how am I playing on another court? Wait, wait, no, no, no. Don't touch him. Just no, explain. No, 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 I can touch, touch him. him. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. You just told us that you're supposed to be in here refing, right? Yes, ma'am. That's the man in charge. He don't know you. Yeah, because I'm new. You just said you ain't got nothing to do with this organization. They sent me from Houston to this. Premises ASAP. But you're not letting me talk. Can I speak to him? Yes or no? No. Okay. That's all I want to know. Goodbye. So as we were leaving the arena, right, we got kicked out, whatever. The police 
pulls up, man. They actually did pull up. What, what are they gonna do? I'm a ref, bro. But me and my boy, we're already like, man, it's time for us to go, man. We're walking, right? And the big guy, he goes over to the cop. He starts ratting, you know what I'm saying? He starts using his 6 9 tactic and him and the cop start walking towards us. So I look back and I see them from a distance and they're walking towards us. And I'm like, Alex, bro, to walk faster. It looks like we have no game to ref. Cops are following us. Let's just get in our car and go. Come on, walk faster, bro. Walk faster, walk faster, walk faster, walk faster. As soon as we get to that left, there's a fence, but like you can still kind of see, but then there's a brick wall and you can't see anymore. So once me and Alex get to that brick wall, we fucking book it to the car. Once we book it to the car, man, we hop in the car and we head up out of there because, mind y'all, my front shield doesn't have any tent. So if we would have just sat in the car and they would have walked past, they would have saw it. So I had to hop in the car and dip, man. So y'all finna see. Turn that bitch. He's gonna walk past and see us, bro. Oh, the car? Yeah. Oh, this car? What the fuck? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, I didn't know he was walking. I figured that was enough. Nah, they was walking. I should got tent. So once we leave from there, man, we leave, I'm like, damn, bro, like, we didn't get to finish the prank because I didn't get to go on the courts or anything. Now nah, we had to fucking dip, but we almost got packed up. Bro, we need to search up another tournament in Dallas, like, ASAP, see if they got a 7 o'clock game. Alex, he actually searched up a tournament that was actually going on in Dallas. I think it was called, like, Drive Nation or something like that. Closest game is probably going to be Weatherford, and that's past four months. I'll make that drive, bro, I ain't going to lie. I think we're about to try to see if there's any other games, but it's looking like they're at least, like, an hour to hour 30 drive bro we're gonna make that happen for y'all so we need y'all to like this video man because we don't want to end the video just yet man all right so it's looking like the only option we got right now is in dallas so we're about to pull up there and actually do the reffing Who sent you? I'll sit there. Who sent you? Coach Gary. No, no, no. Gary Sideburns? No, no, no. He don't work here. Oh, he maybe, don't work for nobody. Oh, 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 maybe it's the wrong court. Yeah, probably wrong court. All right, go I got you. I got you. Good board. Good board. Good board. Good board. Double, double, double dribble. Double dribble. That's double. That's double. That's double dribble. Where you come from? Oh, I've been here. No, you have not. No, I've, hey, I've been here. I've been hey, here. Hey, you're out the game, man. You took too long. Tech, tech, tech. You're out the game. You gotta go. Who are you talking to? Coach, do you want me to throw you out the game, man? Who are you talking to? They, they put money on the game. They put money on the game. Yeah, they put money on the game. Oh, so y'all gambling on a kid's game? Uh, we wanted to keep it low key. Oh, y'all wanted to keep it low key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I don't know who he is. Get him off the court. Please. Where's the camera? What do you mean? Where's the camera? What do you mean? Where is the camera? What's the issue? But well, what's the issue? You're not a ref here, bro. I am a ref. Who you work with? Gary. Who? Gary. Gary who? Dingo Burger. Get out. Let's go. Come on, bro. What? Get out. So once we head off the court, he keeps asking me, where's my cameraman? Who's recording? And I'm not telling him because obviously, why would I do that? He reaches for my chest like if he already knew like where like my mic was and he tries to grab it or turn it off. I'm like, yo, yo, yo. Where's the camera? I'm not wait, about to play this game with you. Wait, how am I supposed I'm to get paid? Wrong guy, wrong guy. I'm just trying to get paid, bro. Turn it. Yo, 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 don't tell, bro. All right, I'm leaving. I'm leaving, bro. Yeah. <laughs> I already told him, like, yeah, yeah, bro, I'm leaving. Like, all right, cool. So then this is the main part. As we're walking out, I'm almost at the entrance. Mind you, Alex didn't want to make it too obvious of him recording at the end just because of the fact that he didn't want them to, like, catch him recording. So, like, he would, like, record, and then he would, like, look away for a little bit. He basically wanted himself to blend in with everybody else while still, like, getting closer to get what was going on. I'm leaving. That's all that matters. That's not all that matters. He's recording. I'm leaving. Hey, Jerry, stop him real quick. Hold on. So as I'm getting towards the entrance, the two security guards, they like cut me off. Like they grab me and they cut me off. And they're like, where are you going? Like, you're not going anywhere. I'm like, yo, like, what are y'all doing? Like, you can't detain me. And you can hear it like. Bro, oh, 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 oh. bro what the? You got I'm not detained. I'm not detained, you bro. People's kids here. Who's recording? I'm, I'm going home. Who is bro, I'm going home, Who is And then like, I'm trying to like tell them like, you can't do that. And the guard, the one with the beanie on, he ends up cutting off my mic. 
mic and I didn't even realize it, but he turns off the mic. I think he turned off my mic on purpose so they could do that and get away with it if it was to become a big deal. At that point, I'm just trying to leave and they keep asking me about my cameraman. So Alex is literally like two feet away. I don't know how they didn't see him. So uh, I ended up walking towards Alex and I grabbed my camera out of Alex's hand. They are like, delete the footage, delete the footage. So in my head, I'm like, bro, first off, bro, you don't know what we went through like just to get this video through, bro. There's no way in hell I'm deleting this footage. So I grabbed my camera out of Alex's hands, bro. I grabbed my camera as y'all can see. And when I grabbed my camera, at that point, I'm in a, like a vlogging type style, but I don't want to hold my hand up too far because he knocked my, my camera down or anything. He'd break my camera or anything. So I kind of got it like close to me and you can see where he's like grabbing me and shit. And I'm like, bro, get the fuck off of me, bro. I'm going to play the clip. So as y'all can see right here, you know, I got it in the vlogging style and he's grabbing me and stuff and I'm trying to like record at the same time and like I'm getting them off of me and shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they're behind me and I'm like getting them off of me. And then so I finally got them off of me and I was like walking through the lobby and they're like, he's trailing me. And I'm like, if you assault me or anything, I'm suing your ass. That's I said and the reason why I said that was just because of the fact that he doesn't have the right to do that as a security guard yep damn he turned off my yeah because he grabbed my chest because he was like bro what the fuck I had to do that on oh, my mama he was gonna grab the camera and try to delete the footage he didn't have the um right to put his hands on us like if you want to talk to us like you can talk to me without putting your hands on me bro like and like even if you end up watching this like just as a respect thing you know what I'm saying like at least stop us and talk to us like as you guys saw I I was more right here and he was up here the whole time you know what i'm saying like he didn't have no right to uh put his hands on us or anything because we were leaving like you told us to do so i don't understand why you tried to stop us and do all that because that was very unnecessary man so other than that man i appreciate you guys for watching if you guys want more pranks and videos like this man keep subscribing man we're going to hit 100k this year man so i need everybody that's watching this video right now to like comment and subscribe if you don't believe it it's fine bro but you're gonna see it happen other than that man I Catch on the next video, man. Peace. I make a money move, no time for honeymoon. Standing on these niggas, niggas, yeah, you know I'm coming soon. Money make a boss, nigga, boy, you know I'm by my loot. Run me up a 10 piece just from rapping in the booth. Flyers, nigga, in my section, I ain't gotta mention it. Straight out of East Garland, bitch, you know I represent natural curly brown skin. Bitch, you know I'm Mexican. Boss, nigga, since a young, you been about my dividends. Uh -huh.